Malcolm, what would you think of the game? Uh, I think this was our best game of coming out there with the mentality of uh, going one to know, no matter if it's a good play or a bad play, go out there with the uh, next play is the most important play mindset. And I think we uh, responded well to adversity that was uh, throughout the game with uh, penalties, whether that's on defense, giving up a third down, making it first down, and still getting off, being able to get off the field. And, uh, just little things like that that we still continue to grow off on. And, um, Continuing to respond in a one and way. I think that's the biggest thing. You just go one and over. Don't worry about the result or the outcome or the game or that play. And, uh, just keep being consistent in those things. Second straight game with uh, three turnovers for the defense and a uh, second straight first half shutout. You think the defense is uh, starting to really find themselves? Yeah, I think uh, it all reverts back to what I was talking about with going one and over. That's the biggest thing we've been preaching this. Uh, playing to the Bama standard and going 1-0 and and not worrying. If it's a good play, cool, 1-0 next play. If it's a bad play, cool, brush it off, 1-0 next play. And I just think that's one thing that we continue to harp on, uh, even throughout practice when uh, somebody might catch a ball on you or you might mess up something in practice. It's always 1-0, uh, 1-0, next play, next play. So I think uh, that's becoming a model of our team, and I think uh, we're treading in the right direction. What was your perspective on your, your interception? Um, we knew that they like to go to number three, and I kind of was just leaning that way. And uh, I've been trying to work on being more patient in the post and kind of letting the quarterback take me to the ball, and, and that's what happened. And, uh, give all glory to God, man, give me the ability to go out there and uh, play the game that I love, and um, I just uh, capitalize on the opportunity. What did you see out of Bray today? Oh, um, I see what I saw out of Bray today is what I see every day at practice since he's been here. Uh, one of the hardest working guys on our team, one of the most unselfish guys in terms of. Uh, having a big role on special teams, but also continuing to prepare like a starter. Um, never complains or, or pouts about playing time. You know, like I said, he just continues to prepare and work each and every day to be the best version of himself. And, um, his work definitely is starting to show on the field, and I'm very proud of him. Hey, Malik, I, I thought you got really emotional when they got the timeout at the one, and then you guys get the stop to get the shutout. How, how, how big was that for you? Oh, that was definitely big for us as a defense, man. I think uh, we wanted to finish the game off on the right foot. So it, uh, the whole game, we kind of was just going on the one and no mentality. And then when it gets to the end, uh, we don't want to give up any score. So for us to come back in the game and uh, get a big fourth and goal stop, on the, the ball was on the way. One, 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 yeah, that's a, that's a big time stop. And uh, it says a lot about our team responding to adversity. How do you think like you were maybe like – Calling for a timeout. What did you see? Yeah, I was calling for a timeout. We kind of got in a little in a little pickle. There was too many people on the field. I had counted and seen there were too many people. So uh, I had seen Coach DeBoer call for it first, and so then I was trying to just help him out on that. Sharing that moment with your brother at the end of the game, what was that like for you and your family? Oh man, it was a blessing. Um, we've never been actually been able to, been able to be on the same team before. So uh, just to have him on the sideline with me here at the University of Alabama. Um, him just taking it all in. I was just asking him the whole time, like, you having fun? Like, it's cool? Like, it's different? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, it was just a blessing, and I'm um, glad that he's here with me. As a captain, do you feel it's a personal responsibility to be the momentum starter like the today? Uh, yes, I think as a captain, um, your team going to look to you to lead in multiple ways, vocally and uh, leading by example. And so I just think um, on game day, it's, it's my duty to just go around and keep everybody positive. Um, no matter if the offense is having a tough time, we're having a tough time, uh, no matter what's going on in the game, uh, keep everybody uh, positive and, 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 and in a good mood so we can go out there and execute. With Bray stepping into the lineup, have you had to communicate with him more as the leader back there? Does he know the offense just as good as Sab? Yeah, he knows the defense just as good as Sab. Um, Bray Hubbard is one of those guys that come in and uh, prepares like he's a starter each and every day. And it's something we preach not only just in the safety room, but uh, to our whole team. Like, you know, college football is a it's a crazy thing. You never know what can happen on, on, on Saturday. So everybody has to be ready because when that time comes, you want to go out there, you want to make production for yourself, create value for yourself and for your team. And um, Ray does a great job of, of doing that. I think, I think that's 10 takeaways for the defense the last three games. Just can you maybe attribute that to uh, Just our – it's something that we're constantly talking about. Um, I think today we didn't take as many shots at the ball on ball carriers as we did, but we did go get them out the air. So just this always a, a point of emphasis of us is attacking the football. And uh, usually when you uh, when you emphasize things like that, it tends to be in your brain and being on, be on your mind during the play, and you kind of tend to take shots at the ball and uh, just keep taking shots, no matter if it's if you miss or not. Like keep taking shots, and one of them will come out eventually.
how it got talking about the interception, but kind of the spark plug with the ball that you have coming out with such a tense second half. Yeah, um, I would just say I was just out there doing my job, uh, letting the quarterback pull me to where he was throwing the ball. And um, uh, shout out to D line for getting pressure on the quarterback. And, um, I just made the play when it was there. And I got to go score, though, man. I got to go score. I can't keep cutting across the field. I got to go score. I feel like uh, obviously Luther Burton is one of the better players in the country. You guys. Uh, really uh, shut him down today. What was kind of the game plan for him coming into the day? Um, we knew that he was definitely the the star player of their offense and definitely one of the top players in the country. So we knew that the ball was going to go to him. But every day we go against great receivers and the best receivers in the country here. So um, just coming into the game and really uh, follow back on our training and what we do every day at practice with, from guarding guys like Ryan Williams, Jerm, uh, Kobe Prentice, Kayla, all those guys up there giving us great looks each and every week. And so when we um, had to play somebody that's up to that caliber, it's, it's kind of not something that's new for us. But, uh, he's a great player, but we uh, we're not going to execute today. Malachi, I, I don't want you to give away too much of your game plan, but I'm curious. Like, what was disrupting Missouri's offense most? Do you feel was it the pressure? Was it the different pictures you guys were giving? Was it like what what was it most? Um, if I'm being honest, I think it was just everybody doing their job, all 11 doing their job. Um, I think that's the biggest thing that we take away from this year is we go back and we look at the film of when we didn't execute or we give up big plays, it's uh, somebody not doing their job. So I, uh, I, I guess I got to go back and watch the film, but I guess everybody was out there doing their job. Today. Did you, I mean, did, did you guys feel that? Like, what does dominance defensively feel like on a sideline when you know you guys are pitching a shutout? When there's a is there a little bit more swagger? Is there a little bit more? Uh, um, I would say we, I would say we're not as tired. It feels great getting off the field. So um, I think that's a key thing for us is getting off the field and getting that rest. Do <laughs> you feel like you guys have improved in that over the course of the last four games? And definitely. I feel like we've been doing a better job of uh, getting off the field, especially on third down, uh, getting the ball back to our offense. Three takeaways for you in the last two games. I mean, how were you able to kind of move on from, from all that stuff that happened a few weeks ago, all the criticism you got, move on from that, refocus, and play the football that you're playing right now? Right. Um, I got a great support staff around me from my family to my girl to my teammates and my brother. So, uh, having them just being positive and speaking to them all week and kind of just uh, put it behind me. I uh, apologize. I take accountability for the actions that I did. And, uh, I know what I did was wrong. And um, just going one to know next play, next day, uh, next rep, and uh, continue to do my job on the field. In what ways do you think the defense has been turning the corner the last couple weeks since then? I would say um, we're holding on, honing in on the little things. Um, at practice, um, Watching everybody at practice, making sure everybody's getting to the ball, no walking on the field, um, shirts tucked in, um, making sure we do mess up, we reload it. Uh, basically, not leaving room for error. That's the biggest thing. Um, and I think that's the thing that uh, we have to continue as a team to, to hone in and in on and continue to be hungry, but also playing the Bama way and uh, continue to be disciplined. What sort of role did Tyler play for the practice this week for being local? Oh yeah, T Book did a did a great job this week of being on guys. Um, just really being that that leader that we need um, on that side of the ball and, and as a team. And T, T Book's one of those guys that we look to every week and um, every day to, to bring that energy. And he does a great job of that leading by example every day. And, uh, also challenging the guys around him to step up, and that's what great leaders do, make the guys around him better. So he's a great leader. Well. Is it kind of a rallying situation when you know it's a team? You can't lose again if you want to get your goals. Right. Does that bring the team together? Does it focus? Does it? It definitely, it definitely brings the team together. I would say it kind of gives um, kind of same situation that we was in last year. Um, backs against the wall, but. Me personally, that's why I feel like I perform my best. And as a team, I feel like we perform my best when we had an option. But to go out there and perform and come out with a W. Bray Hubbard said he didn't really know what to do when he got his pick. Uh -huh. Is that something you guys teach, like in terms of like what to do when the ball miraculously kind of comes? Which means you mean after the play or before the play? After the play. After um. I'm not gonna lie. It's one of those things. It's his first one too, so I know he blacked out. Yeah. Like when you. A lot of them you black out, but especially your first one. So you kind of not seeing nothing. You kind of don't even remember until you go back and watch it on film. So I guess when he just got up, the only thing he knew was to go run down the field, though. But I was going to chase him and congratulate my brother on uh, getting his first career pick. Does this still, do you still like that? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes. It just depends. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, thank you.